Right now at 530, we are still six months out from September, but in New Haven, a number of Democrats are already getting in line to challenge the Elm City's mayor. And Channel 3's New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live outside New Haven City Hall with more on that story. Matt. Hi there, Mark and Aaron. Primary season still a ways away, but there is a growing group that wants the top job in this building behind me. A crowded field of candidates already shaping up to take on New Haven Mayor Justin Ellicker in a Democratic primary. It's a great job, and so uh, I don't blame people for wanting the job because it's a real opportunity to make a difference in the city. Tom Goldenberg, a consultant and tech entrepreneur, was the first Democrat to throw his hat in the ring. I'm just passionate about this city. And he feels his background puts him in the best position. Education, affordable housing, uh, supporting small businesses. And I think I, I, I can make a difference in helping us get back on track. Retired New Haven Police Sergeant and former Alder Shafiq Abdusabor filed papers in January. Safety, education, leadership. And for this community activist and businessman, a key issue focuses on the city's youth. My number one cause in this city is to end the school to prison pipeline. We need to end the school to prison pipeline, and we need to teach students alternatives, skills that pay the bills. And then there's Liam Brennan. New Haven is such an amazing city. Um, I love it. An attorney who helped prosecute former Governor John Rowland when he worked with the Department of Justice. He announced his candidacy Wednesday. He feels the campaign comes down to housing, education, and justice. We can make the city we want. Um, the people of New Haven can have the city government that they want and a city that delivers for them. And we're going to be out there talking to people all across the city about that. As for Elliker, who's looking for a third two-year term, he points to new businesses and construction in the Elm City as part of New Haven's growth. There's so much going on in our city, so much progress being made. We got our challenge and we got more work ahead of us. Um, but I think New Haven voters are going to are going to make a statement uh, when this election comes around uh, that we're going in the right direction. Now a primary would be held in September, September 12th. So far, no Republicans have officially announced their candidacy, but there is another candidate, local activist Wendy Hamilton. She submitted signatures to petition to run as an independent. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.